It's recording now. I didn't have it on before. Okay. So, what were you saying? <laughs> and there's a beautiful amount of fish underneath. And thankfully, they don't bite me, but they bite Scott and Tyler every chance they get. But I, I guess they don't like the bread crust. They like the white bread part. <laughs> Very well worth it. Ah! A fish just bit my foot. <laughs> Life here. We are back in our favorite place, our happy place, Fort Walton Beach at Destin West RV Resort. But right now we are at Rick's, which is one of our favorite restaurants on the bay. Beautiful view, gorgeous sunset right now. People coming back from their pontoon trips, and we are having dinner after a long drive from Georgia to Fort Walton Beach. And Daddy Gravely over here, Scott, said he's off duty. So I decided to just record this little, just for the night he says, record this little video of us. And our little baby girl is over here. I don't know if you can see her eating her pizza. Say hi. I got some <laughs> Ooh, and now we have yeah. french fries. <laughs> Thank you. Until then, we'll see you. All right, so Rakia is about to throw down on the Blackstone. She's getting it ready to throw a couple of steaks on here. And I'm recording this after the fact, so I will tell you they turned out great as usual. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> All right, so after coming down here for the past four or five years, we finally got the site we've been trying to get, site number 38. And it is beautiful, beautiful views. Got to meet a lot of nice people. I will tell you, if you want to get this site, especially for eight days, we did eight days. We had to book it 16 months in advance. Um, we did get it, and we are booked for next year. Not as many days, but we did get it booked for next year. We love it. We love the access to the bay and access to everything around here. Looking forward to next year. And the bay at this resort is amazing because you just have access to it. You can just walk right in, and it's cooler than the pool, mm -hmm. which is next door to us. And um, the pool felt like, what, 95 degrees? It felt like... Bath hey, water. <laughs> and I usually don't get in the bay because it's like pickle juice green, as you can see behind me. But I can see down to the sand, so Ooh. I stepped into it. Is that a dolphin? Oh, I thought it was a dolphin. I was going to be so excited. Well, we saw dolphins yesterday come around the boat. They were actually around the we boat. We have some video of that, boat. right? Yeah, we'll have video of that. You'll see it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we finally saw a mullet. Yeah. And not my 80s haircut, but actual mullet. There's yeah. these mullet fish that run that jump out of the water and worth back it. into the water. Very well worth it. Ah! A fish just bit my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! They are a little, mine. But yeah, they're, we have crab down here, everything. I wanna go fishing in here too. But we're enjoying ourselves and I hope that you're enjoying this video. If you like this video and you like Gravely Train RV Life, please smash that like button, that subscribe button. Ring the yeah, bell yeah, so yeah. you know when we're going to release another video. And give us some comments. Give us some ideas on where we need to go. What's your favorite place? Because Destin West RV Resort is our favorite, believe me. We'll show you. Mm -hmm. That's awful. <laughs> wow, you guys caught a big one. Yeah, we'll let just let him go. Yeah. What? Why? Wow. Yeah. It's 
catch it. Well, here, let me take a picture. Hold on, Brandy. Hold on, Brandy. Oh. <laughs> you wanted to. That's neat. Very cool. Oh, you want to touch, Luke? Touch right there. He's good. Be like it snapped my finger. Yeah, you're gonna try it again. Touch him? Is he going to touch him? Come on, photo opportunity. I know. You did good. You were courageous. Let her get all right, Wait, here you go. Go One more try. Wow, that's a big deal for her. <laughs> go, Tyler. drinking a what pina colada does it have alcohol in it <laughs> what do you think
sharp right up there. Fun-filled day, just chilling. We hung out in the uh, bay on the pier, right here in front of our site, and hung out. We actually went over to the island, had some fun over there, did the fire, watched the fireworks show, and now we're just sitting by the camper, relaxing. Some of us are relaxing even more than others. She sleep. All right, so we decided to do a little day trip down to the Nabar Beach area. Check out a couple of RV parks that are down here. We had a couple of people telling us about them, so we thought we'd check it out. And this is Santa Rosa RV Resort. As you can see, they have some really nice bayside sites. Uh, you know, at Destin West, I mean, they're all close to the bay, but you only really have two that are on the bay. So down here you have options. And this is very nice. Looks like you, they got some pretty good space for big rigs. I've noticed a few fifth wheels and some class a's i mean it's a little tight but in some areas but oh it looks on this side looks like they got plenty of room for the most part beautiful access i mean views and access to the bay and yeah that right there is what me and Rakia would probably be doing a lot of the days is just chilling under an umbrella in the water it's nice so we're going to come around I'm going to go through here probably a couple of, well, I know we went through here a couple of times just because we didn't want to miss anything. But over here on the street side, you have some back end sites. Um, yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're nice. I mean, they're just on the street, so it depends on what you're looking for. And then over here, as you come up, you'll see in the middle, they have some pull throughs and some other sites over there in the middle I mean the rigs are fitting in here I mean they got plenty of space they can see right there they got a travel trailer truck and it fits in there nice there's some I noticed on this side that had a fifth wheel and a dually like we have and they just had to park the truck a little had to squeeze it in there but it works that happens sometimes but it gives us options um, we, we probably would love to come stay here at some point I'm pretty sure if you want to come here, it's probably like Destin West. You probably have to put book pretty pretty far in advance. And we're going to cruise on around here and come back around again over there on the left side. 
or the base side. This side's nice too, though. I mean, it's, the whole part's nice. Depends on what you're looking for, what you want to do. But I know Rakia did some research, looked it up. If you want to book sites over here, probably don't have to do it as far in advance, but you can't pick the actual site. So let's say I want to stay over here. I just that's, I would pick that type of site, and whatever's available is what we would get. Same thing on the bay side. If we want to be on the bay side, we would book a bay side site and we would get one of the sites not necessarily a particular site that we would want to stay in like you know destin west you, you pick the site you want you might have to book it far out but you pick you pick the one you want and that's what you get so the first time through we, we didn't see this because but right over here on the other side of this building is the pool sorry i didn't i didn't get out to look at the pool i know it's there i'm sure it's nice and i'm sure it's Got a pretty good view of the bay over there as well. So let me know what you think. If you've ever stayed here, and if and if you stayed at both, let me know what you think, what your comparisons are. What I like better about Destin West is the fact that I could just have walking access to everything. If I didn't want to leave the park, I wouldn't have to. I can walk across the street to the Island Resort, which, which you have access to when you stay at Destin West. You got the boardwalk over there, restaurants. You got Rick's restaurant next door, which we'd love to go to. I can walk next door and rent a boat. Over here, it looks like you probably have to drive out a little further if you want to go have dinner in different areas. But you do have more sites in the, on the bay side, so it's pretty. I'm sure you can't go wrong. But uh, I don't know, maybe one day. It's a nice park. We are walking on um, water. Yeah, well, not quite. <laughs> We're walking over to this little beach area over here. We're hanging out today. It's like a little sandbar type kind of thing. And with a beach. And Tyla is kayaking yeah. way over there. It's our last day. So heading out tomorrow, but we're not sad, but we'll be back, right? We'll be back. Yeah. Yep. This water feels like a hot bath. Yeah, that's To the our crib is right over yonder. <laughs> so this is Crib Island, not Crab Island. She said Crab Island. Crack Island? Crap. Crap Island. The water's, water's not, not quite exactly. as pretty, but now every year we've came to Crab Island, it's it looked, looked like, like this, this until this year. So pickle juice green. Okay, well, Tyler, is this water clear? Don't Let me get y'all's opinion. Let me get y'all's opinion. Is this water clear? So the argument that we've been having is that the water is green. I try to explain to them the water is not green. The water is clear. It's what's under the water that makes it look green. What was it? I thought. Say I'm right. Say Daddy was right. Huh? It's yellow. She says yellow. I say pickle juice green. It's yeah. The algae underneath, yes, is making it green. But it makes the water green. Either it's just the sand. Look. Look at the sand. Okay, we look at the sand, how green. Now look at that sand, how green it is. We understand. It's not green. It's no, look at that sand. 
It's the color of sand. Okay, but whatever it is. We understand that the, that the sand is green or something. What do you right. speak of? It looks yellow. It ain't, when you look it's at not it. sugar white like that. If that was under here like it is over there, this water would look, would be, would appear to be what it is, which is clear. Either way, I'm in it, so. Comment below and tell me I'm right. If you think I'm wrong, right. then feel just good. don't comment though. <laughs> just smile and nod. I'm following. So Tyler hates country music and she hates Southern rock apparently because Sweet Home Alabama was just Oh yeah, playing. so I coined the term country Caribbean, like Zach Brown and Margaritaville music. Um, who's that artist? The Margaritaville artist? <laughs> Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> So everybody who's like that, like, uh, what's the other one, Kenny Chesney? Kenny Chesney. It's Contribian. Country Caribbean music. Caribbean. It's the best Con music. or Contribian? It's, uh, you heard it first at Gravely Train RB Live. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's good music. I like Zach Brown. <laughs> It's our last day here at Car <laughs> Is it Carolina Pines? <laughs> I don't know where we're at. Where are we? Destin West, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. <laughs> Carolina Pines is a little further north. Just a little bit. Yeah. We were there in March of 2020. Yeah, but any anyway, uh, another good time. What do you think? Oh, this was my favorite time. I don't know why. I just feel like this was the best. Maybe it's because we had... Site number 38, yeah, which is nice that site. nice cul-de-sac corner site. We're sitting across from it right now, and this mm -hmm. is our view. Yep. It was our view the whole time we were here. Eight days, yeah. and it's over now. Yeah, we did something different this year. You'll see in the video. We actually just went, what, is, what would you say it is, about 200 yards? I don't know about that. It's it's a walk through yeah, the bay. Right there. It's a little, little But it was beautiful. You, you've you seen it. If, mm -hmm. this is, it. if you're watching the end of our video, you have seen that walk, and it was gorgeous. We were coming back from Crab Island on the first day we were here, and dolphins were coming under and around our boat. That was kind of cool. Yeah, I forgot about the dolphins. And there was uh, dolphins at the beach. Yeah. And funny story, kind of cool but not cool, but the bartender was told us, the pier, which is right there by the beach, he said a seven foot shark jumped out of the water like a couple of a couple of days ago. Yeah. Or maybe a week seven ago. Seven foot shark, he said. So, yeah, so who knows how big it really was. But we hadn't seen any sharks down here. So <sighs> it's just been beautiful. The weather has been nice. It's ninety degrees every day, so it's extremely mm -hmm. hot. The water at the pool here at the R V resort was like bath water, it was too hot. But the bay was nice and calm and cool and that you could just walk everywhere. We walked to Rick's like we normally do. We walked across the street just now and had dinner at the hotel, the, the island. island. Yeah. Happy and hour. Yeah. Good wings and potato skins and happy hour six? from four to six four to at six. the island hotel, which we have access to being mm -hmm. residents of Destin West for the week. Yeah. And then we went to Al's yesterday, which was good. Al's burgers. Yeah, that was good. I had the tuna and a salad. And burgers were the french fries were hand cut and they rick's were delicious burgers are way better go to rick's and get you a uh, steak melt burger on texas toast mm -hmm. really good yeah that looked good and you can just walk right over it from your side. but we mostly cooked this time we have we the did. blackstone so we mostly cooked and had breakfast here at the rv site and then went out later in the day and i don't think that's a bad thing it was hot but it was you know it is manageable yeah. and don't come here in july and expect to not be burning up hot because yeah. it is hot you know where we'll but be in july 2025 right here right here Same site spot. number 38 we booked it we got lucky and got it booked um a couple of weeks but the last week of july right yeah. somewhere in there but yeah we'll well, be we here got again. it again <laughs> though we promise we'll try to do something venture different. out and get some you know some different places that we don't usually go to and we might guys. stay at camping at the golf or in a bar, or in the bar. We, we looked at the bar you'll see a little bit of that yeah in the video. We, might we might stay, stay there before tonight. we come here we might stay there or, the, or, or, the, or after. after yeah but all in all it just never disappoints that's why we always come back mm -hmm. it's worth every penny because you get 
such a great value with the access to the beach across the street and mm -hmm. the bay right here. I, don't ask me to pronounce the bay. It's like Chacohowachi Bay, some beautiful Native American tribe's name. Yeah. But this bay is everything. And then right behind us, as you can see, move your head over a little bit. You can see all those little rental pontoons yep. that we, we get for Crab Island. Which is, uh, we've mentioned them before, but we'll mention them again. Island Motorsports. Island. Water. Island, island water sports water, water sports yes island we'll water sports dot com yes yeah, they are the bad. most reasonably priced and it's walking distance yeah you just walk right over so there. and then your friends if they don't have rvs can stay in the condos that are behind us or they can stay across the street for three times the price of this rv resort if you think justin west rv resort is expensive try renting a condo or a hotel room yeah good luck and if you have your own boat bring it because you can it, there's no charge you can just You'll see it in the video. You can tether it to you can, the bay. You can tether here. You can anchor here and just get on it whenever you want. Yeah. The water's about, I don't know, it's knee deep. Two, two and a half feet, yeah. three feet. Yeah, all the way out most. for a long way. So. Yeah, we walked over to the beach. I saw like, what, five or six boats right now behind us. I don't know if you see it, but there's four jet skis out there right now just anchored in the water. So bring your jet skis, bring your boats. Yeah. Um, that's, that's the good thing about this park. It's small and tight, um, but the access to the water yeah and you really i mean other than just going if you want to go drive into destins and for dinner and stuff you really don't have to drive anywhere once mm -hmm. you're here so we love it we'll be back yeah but Sad where we're going to be see. we're going to be uh look the look for us and uh the uh, all about the destination hook up with all about the banks the meet up and yeah meet up hook up uh, in, September. in September and October, we'll be at a meetup or a bash or whatever they call it with the bandits. I think it's a meetup. Savannah Lake. It's not their bash. Anyway, it's going to be fun. So, what else? You have a lot of editing to do. We have a lot of stuff that you haven't seen. Yeah. So, stay tuned. Yeah, we got some of the videos you'll Subscribe see. Subscribe to our channel, please, if you haven't already. We really need more subscribers. If you are watching and you haven't subscribed yet, just please take a moment. To click the subscribe button yeah like this video please follow us on instagram facebook TikTok. yeah and just make sure that if you are out there watching us and you enjoy us please acknowledge that and yeah. we'll acknowledge you we, yeah. we respond so yeah. drop some comments questions whatever yeah we, we give us some to... feedback on what parks you like if this is our yeah. favorite what's your favorite if it's not dustin west let us know all right you good I'm good. good. All right, we're going to enjoy our last night here, and then uh, we'll see you soon. Peace. Thanks for watching.